Games are coming thick and fast for Manchester United. We played Everton on Sunday in the Premier League and on Wednesday we play our first game in the League Cup. Currently holders after beating Southampton at Wembley. We've got Burton Albion on Wednesday at Old Trafford. Contain the excitement, I know, but Manchester United, because we've got so many games, Jose Mourinho is very likely to rotate in the League Cup. He, he, it, it's not that he won't take the competition seriously, but it's about rotating your squad and keeping everybody fit. So here is who I think is going to play for Manchester United. As you can see, going to give David De Gea a rest. He was outstanding against Everton. Got 100 clean sheets for Manchester United now. The world's best goalkeeper. End of conversation. Uh, but I think he's going to get a rest. So I'm going to put Sergio Romero in. He played the Europa League last year. League Cup is probably where we're going to be seeing him this season. Now, in a very changed defence, I've gone for Matteo Darmian to play right back. I've gone for Victor Lindelof and Chris Smalling in the middle and Luke Shaw at left back. He is ready and available to play. So if Luke Shaw is going to play, Burton at home in the League Cup is a perfect way to reintroduce him to the team. We need a proper left back and Luke Shaw is by far the best left back the Man United got at the club. Ashley Young played well there against Everton, but Luke Shaw is better. Mid and in, in defence, you've got Victor Lindelof, Chris Smalling. They both played against Basel in the Champions League. I think they'll play against Burton again because Bayern Jones are playing in the Premier League at the moment. That might change as the season goes on. That's what it is at the moment. At right back, Matteo Darmian. Let's give Valencia a rest so he can continue celebrating his thunder bastard of a goal he scored against Everton. Now, in midfield, I've gone for the first start of the season for Michael Carrick, who's technically the club's captain, but as I said, he hasn't played a minute of football so far this season for Man United. In a game like this against Burton, it'll be a slower tempo. It will suit Carrick. He hasn't got the energy to play a high-tempo game anymore. And alongside him for stability, I reckon he might go for Nemanja Matic, who probably deserves a rest, but for me, a game like this shouldn't be too taxing for a midfielder who has been magnificent so far for Man United this season. And I've gone for Ander Herrera in a number 10. Give us a midfield three, really dominate and control the game, and play Herrera a little bit further forward in a position I actually think he's better in rather than a defensive midfielder, but you may disagree. And then for a front three, I'm going for Jesse Lingard on the right, Anthony Martial on the left, and Romelu Lukaku up front. Lukaku has been scoring goals aplenty. I think he'll score again if he does play against Burton. Anthony Martial, he has scored more goals this season in the Premier League than Lacazette, Kane, Ali, and he hasn't even started a game in the Premier League. Three goals he's got in the Premier League, and he's started very, very well. I want to see him start against Burton, maybe get a couple to his name, and maybe get even more confidence. And Lingard, who I felt was a good impact sub against Burton at the weekend, I want to see him start just to rotate and give certain players a rest. That is it for my predicted 11. Who is in your predicted 11? Let me know in the comments below. Drop a like on the video. As always, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.